guys, it's that time. Yes, I have not forgotten about you. I still have my Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch right there. So I do have this device still, and you know what? There's been some development. Yes, this is going to be exciting. This device has got a KitKat ROM. Booyah! So let's check this out. I actually went ahead and installed the ROM already. It's what I'm running right now. Um, so, so far, very, very smooth. I'm super happy that this is out because this device has been, you know, kind of lacking in new Android versions. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you, uh, kind of go through it, and then we'll show you how to install it. Uh, I do want to give a big shout out to the developer on this. He ported it over from another Tab 7, or Tab 3 7 inch, I should say. Um, and his uh, screen name on XGA is gr 8 Null. I always think of him as uh, Great Knoll or Great Eight, or I can't—I don't know why I call him that. Just the way I see the seat in my head. But anyway, um, we're gonna go into device here, and you can see this is the SMT uh, 210 uh, or the 210R. It works the same. Should be the same on either one. Here is your build number is Knoll Kit version 1.2, and. Here is your Android version 4.4.2, which is KitKat. And let's go ahead and show you guys the Easter egg. There it is. And if you hold down, boom, boom, shabam, you have KitKat on your Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch. So super, super pumped. Um, let's go ahead and see some of the other stuff in here. We'll just kind of look, look through it really quickly. You know, standard stuff. Nothing uh, too exciting in here. Um, but if you swipe over, you do have your multi-window launcher, so you can, you know, pick one. And here's, here's you got this window. You can come over here and maybe you want to add a gallery to it. And now you should have a gallery, and it's shortened down. So you have both windows. It's very, very cool. And then you can tap here and, you know, close out one of them. There you go. So you do have that functionality built right in. And you can edit and create different things right there. So very, very excited about that. Let's see what else we have in here. Just some more settings stuff you can go into for that application. Um, so what you're going to need to do this, to get this installed, I'll show you some more. But since I'm in this file browser already, let's go ahead and show you this. You're going to need the uh, Null KitKat V1.1 zip, which is the ROM. You're going to need the V1.2 update zip. And you're going to need... Well, probably the latest super user zip. I have 2.0. I know there's a newer one than that, but 2.0 does function. So you're going to need those three files. You're going to need um, Twerp Recovery or Clockwork Mod Recovery to install this. I use Twerp as just my preferred recovery. So you have to have that already on the device. If you don't have this, you don't know how to flash ROMs at all, um, you know, watch some more of my videos on this device. I cover pretty much all the development on it that I've seen so far. Um, videos on ROMs and all kinds of good stuff. So it should get you up to speed. You can check that out at RootJunkie.com or my YouTube channel. Alright, so let's go over a couple more things on it. We'll go ahead and check out the app drawer. You can see by flashing super user you get root access right there. This is very stripped down. There is not a lot of extras in it. It is just a functioning KitKat. So you can see basically those are all of your applications. We're going to go ahead and check out widgets. Um, you do have some other Samsung widgets in here, clock and different things like that. You swipe the edge, you'll, you'll pick that up. So that's about it. Yeah, re-loops through the widgets. Anyway, uh, I got a clock on there really quickly. Um, basic, basic feel for it. Loops through the menus. Um, very nice. You can expand this up here. See all of your toggles. It does say Wi-Fi hotspot, which is funny, but it doesn't actually uh, work because it doesn't have... Uh, sell you their service. So there you go. That's pretty much going to be your look and feel of this device. Super proud of a developer on this one. This is awesome. This device well needed uh, some, some good improvements. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the install. So, to get into the install, you have to have those three files on your device. You have to have custom recovery. We're going to go ahead and power off the device. There we go. Install is very simple. So, uh, basically, you want to get into uh, recovery mode. So, to do that, you're going to hold home you're going to hold on the top is volume up and then you're going to hold power and as soon as you see the logo here you're going to let go of power but keep holding volume up and home and this is going to boot you into custom recovery there we go team win recovery project very simple there you go 
So first thing you want to do, if you're coming from stock or another ROM, whatever you're running, you want to take and make an Android backup. So you're just going to click here. Uh, set backup name, you know, put in whatever ROM it is, whatever you've got on your device. And then uh, I think you want to hit back, back from there. Yeah, you can hit back. Then uh, pick where you want to store it. So internal, S external, uh, whichever. Highlight all your stuff. It's already pre-highlighted here in this version. And then swipe across to create your Android backup. I'm not going to do that right now. I already have other backups, so I'm not worried about it. But this is a very important step. Always do this. All right, from here, you're just going to go to Wipes. And swipe across. This is going to wipe Data Factory, set your device, so that you can have a clean install for uh, this ROM. Then you're going to go to Installs and navigate to where you have your stuff downloaded to. Mine's already in the folder, so I don't have to really navigate too much. You can go up and down, level up right there with those features right there. And then you're going to go ahead and select version 1.1. Make sure it is listed right there. And then add a zip. Then you're going to select version 1.2, which is the update. It's good. Make sure it's listed right there. It is. And then add a zip. And then you're going to select Super Sue. There we go. Make sure it's listed and you're good. So it should say right here, file 3 of max of 10. If I read that right, whatever. That's how you're going to do it and you have all three files to flash. Go ahead and swipe across and this is going to flash the ROM version 1.1, the update version 2.1, or 1.2 I should say, and then root your device and you will have KitKat on your device just like I've got right here. So that's going to be it guys. Uh, I'm just going to really quickly let's just thing flash. Uh, I do want to mention you're probably going to take about five minutes to boot up the first boot um, because it's, you know, setting up KitKat and getting everything functioning correctly for you. Uh, from what I've seen online, there isn't very many bugs on this thing. It is pretty, pretty much fully functional. And even if there is any issues, you do have an awesome developer right now working on it and updating it and making sure it's functioning correctly. I will definitely link you guys to everything in the video description down below, to the XDA thread, to all the files. You should be able to get everything going very smoothly on your device. If your screen turns off like this, this is not an issue. This is just twerp recovery in screensaver mode. So just hit your power button once, swipe across, it'll unlock, and you'll be able to finish seeing what's going on. So let's see what we have here. Done unmounting. So it's it's now it's that was the ROM. Now it's flashing the update, which is very fast. And you saw the progress bar shoot across. And now it's going to flash. Um, super user, which actually did already. That was that quick. So, we are done. Everything's good. Reboot system. Right there. Flip this sucker around. And there's your Galaxy Tab 3. Again, for the 7 inch here. Um, that's it, guys. Let this thing boot. Give it the 5 minutes. And you will have KitKat on your device. There you go. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I'm not going to let you really watch it boot. It's pretty boring. Um, hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for any more development that happens on the Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch. I'll be reporting on that here, showing you guys how to do these uh, cool modifications. Again, huge shout out to developer over on XDA, gr 8 no for putting this together for us. Thank you very much, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out. Yeah.